Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this afternoon. Uh, to myself, David Parry, Chief Customer Officer at Bring, and uh, I'm very pleased to introduce Joseph Henry uh, from Adeo. Um, he's been doing some marvelous work with us over the last, what, two and a half years, I think, now? Yes. Joseph Henry. Um, and, you know, we're going to talk this afternoon about standardization across the last mile and how Adeo have been achieving that uh, across multiple countries uh, over the last couple of years. So, yep, that's us. So, Joseph, just handing over to you, some uh, update on Adeo would be great. Okay, so hello, David. Uh, good afternoon, uh, every, everybody. So, uh, Adeo is uh, better known across uh, the brands that you can see below. So, Laura Merlin, for example, Bricoman, and so on. Uh, we are present in uh, 20 countries, five uh, web only, uh, 13 with uh, more than uh, 1,000 stores. And uh, our mission is to link and connect all the necessary partner, internal and external, to carry out the uh, customer and inhabitants project. We are facing a huge transformation uh, from a retail business of independent store, it's in uh, our culture, uh, to uh, a worldwide platform for a positive home. Uh, as you can see, we are uh, number one in Europe on the DIY and home improvement segment, and third uh, worldwide, and uh, you can see all the number. Uh, I will not read uh, everything on the slide. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Joseph. Um, and unfortunately, there was a slide on Bring, but uh, it got lost in translation somewhere. So just very quickly, Bring uh, are a last mile delivery platform company. We help anybody who needs to deliver to the end customer be that uh, retailers like Adeo, um, auto parts manufacturers, we even help logistics companies. And we help working with third party delivery partners where we can connect the likes of Adeo to third party delivery companies. We can also then help you manage your own fleet. Um, and at the high end, we have people who've got their own fleet and delivery partners and are forever uh, using delivery partners as an extension of their own fleet and working out what's the best, most cost-effective way of meeting their customer demands. So with that, let's uh, talk about the challenge of the last mile. Um, back to you, Joseph. Okay, so for sure, uh, the most important is the last mile delivery challenge is the customer satisfaction and customer experience. Uh, we, we did a survey and 75% uh, of the NPS of customer experience is related to the home delivery. So uh, home delivery is very important in the customer satisfaction. And for us, it's uh, the, the first challenge uh, to, to take control of, uh, of the last mile delivery. Uh, as you saw on the previous slide, uh, we are present in uh, several countries with several brands, with several business models. And uh, for that, we absolutely need to have uh, a, a global control to have uh, a, a standardization of the processes across countries and, uh, and brands. Um, also, we want we wanted when we start our relationship with Bring uh, a, a unique uh, digital platform to manage ship from store, ship from warehouse, and ship from partner for parcel bulky and heavy and bulky. Because for us, it was very important to have the the same customer experience and the same uh, collaborator uh, experience. So uh, this is uh, a, a huge challenge. Another challenge uh, for last mile delivery, and I, I think that uh, everyone here uh, already faced this kind of, uh, of challenge, is integration with uh, the, the, the carriers, with, uh, with the delivery partners. So uh, this is uh, very important for us to have uh, a, a fast integration uh, with our delivery partners. And last but not least, 
uh, everything uh, needs to be uh, at the uh, reduced uh, cost and carbon services uh, because uh, everything is related to, to that. Because if you can reduce uh, your, your, your cost, you can improve your competitiveness and you can give some more uh, customer satisfaction and, and improve the customer uh, experience. It's a, a virtuous uh, uh, circle. Uh, I you know, totally get that. Uh, it's it's complex, it's difficult, and then managing across multiple countries, that indeed is uh, not going to be something simple. So how did you uh, attack these issues? So uh, we start with uh, one first uh, business unit uh, in Italy, uh, and uh, we, we try to work well. In a, in a pilot environment, and uh, when we 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 feel uh, comfortable to deploy, we deploy uh, in a very uh, quick way because in a, uh, just over one month we deploy the solution in more than uh, 50 store uh, in Italy. So uh, it's a it's a very uh, it's very important for us because. Uh, 13 countries, uh, several brands in every country, uh, the, the speed of deployment uh, was uh, very crucial. Uh, about the, the, the data, um, data mechanics is a key for a data-driven uh, company or companies that want to be data-driven. We, we are trying to reach uh, this. And, um, this uh, allows to standardize the uh, reporting and to benchmark our business unit. So to have uh, the same vision uh, of what is happened in Poland, Spain, Italy, and so on. So this is uh, very important. So the accessibility of the data uh, was also uh, very critical for us. Um, and Adeo uh, is a global company, but the operation are managed in the business unit. So uh, it's not me, it's not my team that are managing the operation. So uh, it's important also to allow the business unit, so the operation, to have uh, the right level of autonomy. So a global control, but a local autonomy uh, with common processes. Okay. So there's been, I think, innumerable challenges along the way uh, that we've certainly worked together against uh, and I guess one of the things has been that whole thing of driver shortage is affecting everybody and so how have you addressed that? Okay, so as I mentioned uh, uh, previously, the, one of the main challenges is integration of delivery partners and uh, uh, have the possibility for the delivery partners to, 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 to achieve a self-integration. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a changing game because uh, you can access a, a easier uh, a portfolio of, uh, of delivery partners that are already present in the in the delivery hub, so we we had the opportunity to uh, use our uh, own uh, local fleet, our internal fleet, and also to uh, expand uh, with uh, external carriers uh, through the uh, delivery hub. Um, I think the the delivery hub just for people who don't know, it is part of the Bring solution that enables you to connect to a whole load of third-party uh, delivery partners who we already have pre-registered across multiple countries. And I think that's been one of the things for you guys is the ease with which you can add those new uh, carriers in different countries. Uh, another very important thing, it's uh, beyond the deli delivery hub, it's the automation of the selection of the, the carrier. So uh, you can put some uh, business rules, uh, rate card, uh, vehicle type, and so on. And then the, the system will uh, allocate to the right carrier uh, following these business rules uh, that can uh, do the job well. So uh, the automation of the partner selection is very uh, was very important too. And I think the operations you talked about again you're used to being autonomous not just at the country level but down to the store level how have you you know squared the circle of 
people want local autonomy to actually gain the impact and the cost savings that you need, you need standardization. So, um, in ADEO, uh, for us, US Fox is the first principle of uh, digital platform. So, uh, I'm talking about the digital platform because we are building solutions uh, to improve our customer satisfaction. And US First is uh, uh, the main principle. So, uh, bringing bring, sorry, <laughs> uh, we, we pass from uh, a Google Sheet or uh, a file Excel to uh, an interactive map uh, for our dispatcher. So it's a, it's a huge step forward for them uh, that allows them to, uh, to, to make the job uh, easier, to interact with the driver uh, in uh, almost real time. Uh, the, second, uh, the second thing, it's uh, about the driver. So the dispatcher uh, can communicate, but also the driver can communicate with the dispatcher and also with the customer. And then also the customer can communicate uh, directly with, uh, with the driver. So uh, this, is, uh, uh, this was uh, another changing game. Uh, the route optimization for internal fleet, obviously, because when we are working with a, an external fleet, uh, it's uh, the external fleet that optimize uh, the route because the, the, the carrier is, uh, is shared with all other customers. But for internal fleet, uh, the route optimization, uh, taking charge uh, the size of the vehicle, uh, um, time window uh, to deliver the customer, and, uh, and so on. So uh, the optimization is, uh, is, very, uh, is very powerful full and um and this uh, provide also a real time uh, a real time uh, tracking. I, I don't know as a customer if you uh, uh, experienced uh, this kind of uh, of, uh, of thing, but uh, uh, seeing on your smartphone uh, where exactly your delivery is, in how many time uh, it's gonna be delivered to your home, it's a, it's a, it's a, a fantastic customer experience. So we are very happy to provide this kind of experience to our customers. I think that, that brings us on nicely to, you know, we've talked about the advantages for Adeo and cost savings, etc. But really the important people here are those end customers. Uh, and how is the use of the Bring technology really helping Adeo enhance that Adeo. experience? I already unveiled uh, yeah. something about the, the <laughs> tracking, but uh, the customer, ex customer experience, as I said previously, is uh, the most impor important for us because uh, it doesn't matter if you uh, sell something, deliver something with a, uh, a bad experience, the, the, you, you, you're going to not keep the cu customer. So uh, this is uh, our first uh, target and to ensure a five stars uh, customer experience for that. The tracking is very important. So internal tracking is directly provided by uh, the driver app. So uh, we, the customer can follow uh, directly the, 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 the carrier, the, the truck, uh, step by step. And uh, we also get the integration of the, um, of the tracking of the external fleets. So the customer can also follow the, with less information. So he did not have the, the map, but uh, all the steps are, are tracked uh, and uh, visible for, for the customer. Possibility to uh, interact with the, the driver in real time. And uh, uh, we, we did not offer yet, but we are, we are working on the integration uh, between our GMS bring and order management system to provide to our customer several options of delivery. So speed of delivery, standard, express, economic, also extra deliveries, uh, curbside at the floor uh, with installation, for example, and uh, also the slot because the speed of delivery is not uh, the most important for the customer. In uh, our segment, if you are buying a bathroom uh, or everything to, uh, to improve your bathroom, it's not, you don't need it tomorrow. You need it when you are at home, when you uh, can receive the, the goods. So the slot management, it's a uh, calendar and slot management. It's uh, one of the future challenges that we will face together. Yeah, absolutely. So I, we've heard lots about the challenges and how you're addressing them. 
And what would you say have been the results so far? So uh, the first one, uh, we, we, we did not, uh, we are not using yet the dynamic management of peak uh, demand, but uh, we're going to uh, take advantage of that uh, shortly. Um, as we are present in several countries with several brands, uh, when we got uh, a, a new business model or uh, an organization that we need to deploy fast, uh, have the same uh, digital platform, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's make it easier for us to deploy in uh, several countries in, uh, in different brands. And we are today facing this in, uh, in Poland, that we are implementing two different brands in, uh, in the same country. So uh, this, this helps us. Ongoing uh, optimization. Since two years, uh, we, we, the solution is not the same. Uh, I think that uh, we, we improve the solution, we enrich the solution together as a, a design partner. So uh, every time uh, we, we, we co-develop some uh, ideas and then uh, uh, realize and implement. Um, and uh, about the profitability, re uh, cost reducing, uh, I already talked about, uh, uh, really, uh, for us, it's an opportunity to invest again in our competitiveness to offer uh, a, 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 a better customer experience. So once again, it's a, a virtual cycle. So the profitability is not for the profitability, is to uh, improve our competitiveness. I, uh, those are all great at a high level. Do you have any more sort of specific examples you could share with us? Yes. So, um, not so specific, but... <laughs> a little more detail. But uh, in, in two years, <laughs> in two years, we delivered uh, more than two million uh, order and we, we will reach uh, approximately three million by the end of this year. We integrate uh, 35 uh, delivery partners. So other delivery partners that uh, uh, were uh, in the delivery hub. So we also contribute to enrich the delivery hub for other bring customers. We integrate eight uh, warehouses for the ship from warehouse. Almost 200 stores uh, for the ship from store because sh stores in Adeo are part of the uh, fulfillment network in uh, our company. Uh, we are working now on the optimization of the heavy and bulky because uh, for heavy and bulky we are using crane trucks and uh, uh, the optimization is a little bit different and we, we absolutely need uh, something different than uh, the standard optimization. And uh, uh, I, I cannot communicate numbers about that, but uh, the, the, we improve uh, business together uh, thanks to the solution and uh, the standardization of uh, our processes uh, in, uh, in the business unit. And I think you know, an impressive set of results so far. Two million deliveries is not to be sniffed at. Um, you know, live in different countries, working with all the difficulties around that. But I guess you're not going to stop there. Uh, and oh. so what's next for you guys? So um, a lot of ambition. So uh, self-invoicing. Um, uh, in fact, self-invoicing, it's a, a pre-invoicing. So uh, Bring will uh, give us the opportunity to check the invoice and uh, to aut automate the, the payment of the invoice. Uh, we're going to integrate uh, the customer returns uh, orchestration with, uh, with Bring, so with the delivery management, so uh, one way uh, and round trip. Uh, dropship vendor management, yes, we want to control also the ship from partner. So uh, we are offering to uh, uh, our uh, partners, suppliers and so on, the possibility to deliver uh, for them. So we're going to integrate uh, this in uh, our future flows. Um, yes, I, as I said, in, a, in one country, we, we, we will share the same internal fleet with uh, two different business units, so two different brands. So this is very new for us. And uh, this is uh, 
a big change because uh, I said at the beginning, independent stores, but uh, that means also independent business units and to share uh, the same operational uh, organization it's another improvement uh, in uh, our um, effectiveness. And as I, I said before, slot management, because uh, it's very important to, uh, to give to the customers the possibility to choose the date, but also the slot uh, of the delivery. So uh, there's a lot of other things, but uh, they are less relevant. But uh, this has, uh, these are the most relevant uh, future uh, uh, developments that we will uh, uh, achieve together. And I think you know, along the journey, it's been that design partnership, that ability to flex as we discovered between us um, different things. I think when you look at where the market is going, um, the whole idea of returns management is going to become more important. Um, and the idea that you can use not only your own fleet going out and manage them to do returns while they're delivering, but also potentially work with third parties who are also doing deliveries and returns and for different business units. I think the, the complexity there is amazing and the fact that you guys are doing it controlled across multiple countries is, is quite incredible to me. Yes, it's a great challenge. Uh, the first step of this challenge is uh, to try to, uh, to understand the business need, uh, the specific business needs of each country because uh, it's not exactly the same, even if uh, we are uh, delivering a parcel to customers. So it's uh, almost the same, but uh, uh, you get legislation uh, different in some countries. Uh, you get... Uh, um, habitude uh, in, uh, in several countries. So uh, it's, uh, it's important for us to understand uh, the, the, the business in each country, in each business unit, because uh, when you are working with uh, inhabitants or so the, 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 the customer uh, 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 as we are, or the pro, uh, the, the, the behavior is totally different. So we cannot provide exactly the same services. So you absolutely uh, need to have uh, a whole solution to answer the, the, all, the, all the business needs of, uh, of the business unit. So it's a huge challenge. So we just only start two years, <laughs> but we are at a high pace because uh, we are now with a, a fourth business unit uh, where we are implementing the solution and we got a very ambitious plan for, for next year. And I know that you guys not only ship from stores, but you ship from warehouses as well. How, how do you manage both of those? Because you, you're talking about a, you know, working with different back-end systems, potentially different inventories. How, how's that all working for you? So uh, we are developing uh, in-house an order management system to manage that. So uh, the order management system know exactly all the resources in our network. So we put some criteria to, uh, to, to choose the best uh, shipping point. And then when we allocate to the shipping point, uh, we can uh, allocate to the carrier. But the next step is to make the integration between the GMS and the uh, order management system to have uh, a, change, uh, uh, a chain of decision uh, end to end uh, and not only uh, about the uh, availability of inventory, but also uh, the capability to deliver uh, at, uh, at time, uh, in the time window and, and so on. So uh, you challenge uh, in the future. Something to work on. Excellent. Well, Joseph Henry, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you, everybody out there. Um, thank you. Be happy to take any questions. Yep. Yeah. Wait for the microphone. That would be great. Thank you. And we'll uh, wait for us to put our headphones on. Well, we won't hear you. Hey. Yeah. Does it work? Good. Yep. I hear myself. That's annoying. <laughs> um, interesting uh, um, platform that you have. I'm just wondering, if, are you also collecting data where you can define what your footprint is, your, uh, um, your environmental footprint? 
It, it's a very, it's a very good question. Uh, we, we are working uh, on the uh, green ring, uh, yep. I guess. Uh, on uh, it's not uh, activated to, uh, today, but we are, we are absolutely want to be able to measure and to uh, involve the customer in the delivery choice. Uh, so we want to publish uh, the carbon footprint of each uh, kind of delivery and it's the customer that will choose, but he choose knowing uh, the, the, the impact on the planet. And then also for the client, sorry, and then also for the client, they know how much they uh, emitting towards the delivery at home. Yes. And, and that's something, you know, that's been an initiative that we've been working on again in partnership with Adeo is you know, to give make customers conscious of the green impact of the delivery. So if you're in town, you can choose a bike or an electric vehicle. You know, uh, and you know, we also find just from the retailer's point of view, there are customers out there who will actually pay more for a green delivery. You know, so it because sometimes it is more expensive to use, you know, a, a green vehicle. Especially, I, I think the difficulty for you guys is the big and bulky side. As we're going to see more and more electric vehicles come along, that will be something that will be integrated into the fleets. And as we connect to third-party fleets, we will also be looking at the green credentials of those third-party fleets as well. So that when you connect via the Bring Hub, you'll be looking at a fleet not just perhaps from a cost management point of view, but also for a carbon footprint. Uh, are you able to provide any forecast to carriers through this platform or to your order management? It's it's a very good question. Uh, today, no, <laughs> unfortunately, because we don't have a, a whole process of uh, SNOPs that can provide this kind of uh, of uh, provision. But we are working on uh, on, on this and. Uh, in some period of the year, for example, Black Week, uh, we we are able to do that because it's uh, it's easier to uh, to to communicate something. But uh, day by day, uh, today we are not uh, providing to our carriers uh, this kind of information, even if it's an ambition for us. And how long take to onboard new carrier? It's really depend. Uh, it's depend of the carrier. It could take uh, uh, two days, uh, three days, or uh, three weeks. Uh, it's uh, really depend of uh, of the carrier, of uh, the maturity of uh, the carrier on uh, the IT. So it's really depend of uh, of uh, of the typology of the carrier. Yeah, for, from Bring's point of view, I can tell you the biggest hold up with new carriers is contracts. You know, a customer comes to us and said, we'd like to connect to this because most of the customers, we do offer the option of we'll manage the contracts for you. But if most customers manage those contracts themselves, we tend to find that we can have the integration up and running, but we're waiting for the actual contractual stuff to all be signed and agreed. Anybody else? In that case, thank you. Oh, sorry, it's a lady here. Uh, hello, this is Ju Julia from Stewart. We do uh, last mile urban deliveries. So I was keen to understand when you do ship from store, you want to integrate carriers that have national coverage or are you also willing to have national coverage and then uh, local carriers for urban deliveries? Both. Uh, we, we, we are working for uh, in both situations because we are uh, delivering parcel bulky and heavy, bul heavy and bulky, so we, we, we can have a uh, different si situation. And uh, bring, I, I guess, this year uh, improves uh, carrier allocation because uh, before it was internal or external. External, I, I, I'm going to run the carrier allocation uh, uh, optimization and then find the, the best one. Now, uh, Bring can compare also internal and external fleet and find the, the, the best carrier to deliver the customer regarding uh, the content of the order and the destination uh, of the customer, time window and so on. Anybody else? 
In that case, thank you very much for your time, folks. Thank you, Joseph Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.